Good morning, class. I am Teacher Jock, and I will be your science teacher. Kids, let's have a simple review. You're going to study the force applied to each object that identify whether it is push or pull. For our first feature, the correct answer is push. Let's have number two. The correct answer is pull. Let's have number three. The correct answer is push. Let's have number four. The correct answer is pull. Let's have the last number, five. The correct answer is pull. Our lesson for today is all about Characterize Magnetic Force. Kids, are you ready? Magnetic Force is the attraction or repulsion that arises between electrically charged particles because of their motion. Magnetism is the force exerted by magnets when they attract or repel each other. Magnetism is caused by the motion of electric charges. Every substance is made up of a tiny unit called atoms. Kids, remember, each atom has electrons, particles that carry electric charges. Here are the different types of magnets. We have the U-shaped magnet, the Bohr magnet, the ring magnet, and the horseshoe magnet. One type of magnet is a bar magnet. A bar magnet have a south and north pole on each end and are the most common type of magnet. Another type of magnet is a ring magnet. A ring magnets are commonly used when a mechanical attachment method is needed to secure the magnet. Another type of magnet is a magnetic needle. A magnetic needle is a piece of magnetized steel used as an indicator on the dial of a compass and in magnetic and electrical apparatus. We also have disc magnets. Disc magnets are thin, flat, circular magnets where the thickness does not exceed the diameter. Next, we have horseshoe magnet. 
A horseshoe magnet is originally created as a replacement for the bar magnet. This shape has become the universal symbol for magnets. Let's remember kids, a magnet is a material or object that produces a magnetic field. All magnets have a magnetic field around them. Magnets have invisible magnetic fields which are attracted to a certain metals. Magnets do not attract all metals. Objects made of nickel, iron, and cobalt are attracted to magnets. A magnet has two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. When the poles of two magnets are put near each other, they have a force that will either pull them together or push them apart. If poles are different, then they will pull together or attract each other. Remember kids, if poles are the same, then they push apart or repel each other. The push and pull of a magnet is called magnetism. Now kids, let's apply what have you learned today. For this activity kids, you're going to put a check mark on magnetic object. And you're going to put a cross mark on non-magnetic object. I'll be giving you one minute to answer. Time starts now. Now, let's check your work, kids. For number one, cross mark. Number two, check. Number three, cross. Number four, cross. And number five, cross mark. Very good. You did a great job. Kids. Let's have another activity. For this activity, you're going to write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. I'll be giving you one minute to answer the following questions. Let's check your work, kids. For number one, true. Number two, the correct answer is true. For number three, true. For number four, true. And number five, true. Let's see how's your target now. Let's have your evaluation. For your evaluation, you are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. For number one, what object is attracted to magnet? A. Paper cup B. Cloth C. Plastic fork or letter D. Coins The correct answer is Letter D, coins. For number two, what object is not attracted by magnet? A, towel, 
B. Paper clips C. Nails or letter D. Coins You have 5 seconds to answer. The correct answer is letter A. Towel Very good! For number 3, can a pad of paper attract magnet? A. Yes B. Maybe C. No Or letter D. Both A and B The correct answer is letter C Very good! For number 4, it is a force that acts in moving electric charge and magnetic materials that are near a magnet. A. Paper B. Magnetism C. Plastic or letter D. Wood The correct answer is letter B. Magnetism Great job, kids! For number 5, it has a large amount of lodestone, a magnetic mineral. A. Bed B. Pillow C. Magnet or letter D. Shoelace The correct answer is letter C. Magnet. Very good, kids! Thank you, kids! I hope you learned something today.